All right, shalom, shalom. It's Brother Atazadak here, Israel. Before I get started, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to go into Micah chapter 2, going into the Hebrew. So, Lord will you're edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. So this is uh, Micah chapter 2. Let's get right into it. My bad. Micah 2 and 1, which reads, just click out of this right here. Which reads Micah 2 and 1. says, Woe unto he that rec reckoneth or deviseth uh, iniquity and practices it or does it, which is uh, that word payel meaning to do, right, to act upon, right, that deviseth, um, um, that does evil upon their beds, upon the light in the morning, they do it because it is unto the power of their hand. Right, which is reads um, Haya Hawa Hawaya Hashabya Awan Wapayalya Rai Al Mashakab Thumb Ba Awar Ha Bakwar Ya Asha Kaya Yasha La Alu Yadam. Right? There's that word La. The word Allah meaning God, but it also means uh, power, right? Uh, which is talking about um, Esau Edom, right? Uh, uh, the nations, right? Which have conspired to cut off the Israelites from being a people, right? The so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right? of the nation of Israel, Salakia. Let me change this setting real quick. Oh. Of the nation of Israel, right? Uh, which, um, right, you have, uh, you have a particular order to the, to the, uh, uh, the left-hand side, right? You have Esau, Edom, Right, which is uh, um, heading all these the uh, conspiracy to cut off Israel from being a nation. You have the nations, right? You have uh, Elam, Ishmael. Uh, you have um, uh, the Hamites. You got the uh, Ammonites. You got the Moabites. Right. So we we represent the right hand side, right? Uh, Yahweh Ba Shemiah Shai, right? Preaching the word. Right, but on the left hand side you, you also have like Elder Pastahar recently said, right, the, they have their priesthood on the left hand side, which is right, uh like Elder Pastahar recently said, right, once you get to a certain level, right, you gotta sell out, right, you gotta uh right, a lot of these high level sellouts, entertainers, right, uh they gotta they gotta sell out. These entertainers, Salakia, they gotta sell out. And what do they gotta do? A lot of them on the left hand side, right, they gotta call up, they gotta make sacrifices to these uh, uh, seducing spirits, right? Some of them gotta, uh, uh, right, they gotta, uh, they have knowledge of, uh, of certain left hand rituals, right? Uh, some of them, right, are. A lot of these high-level, right, Edomites and uh, Jakes to sell out, right? The the uh, mages, the really uh, warlocks, right? Eve, a lot of Eve is going into witchcraft, right? Like it says in the Book of Thessalonians, right? There would be a great fall in the way, right? But there, that left-hand side priesthood goes, it gets into all of that, calling on demonic spirits, and that's what the nations always did. At the end of the day, we know that, right? 
all these idols, these ancient idols, not only are they named right and imaged after their right their forefathers. You have, uh, for example, Caesar Bourget. You have uh, Tammuz, right? Which the, these were actual men that walked the earth, but they were turned into idols. But then you also have these uh, demonic spirits that they call them, right? So these are the ones that practice evil upon their beds, not just through Esau Edom's uh, laws that he passes through of righteous decrees. Right? You also have uh, his warlocks that are, right, uh, via the spiritual demon Satan, giving him uh, uh, counsel and advice on how to move forward on his uh, one world agenda, right? Micah 1 and 2 says in and, uh, and covet fields and strip them off and houses and are lift and are taken away meaning they take away houses and extort and extort a man and his house and a man and his uh inheritance right which that's what it, it's like yeah, that's what it's uh talking about right um because all these uh, heathens, all two thirds, right? They're covetous, right? They're uh, the driving force, right? Is our uh, money, right? Esau Edom's fiat currency, right? They trust in uh, the beast, the image of the beast, right? Which is uh, Rome all over again, which is uh, right? America, Babylon the Great, right? So it says, Wa Hamad Wa Shadath, Wa Gazal Wa, Wa Bathium, Wa Nasha'a Wa, Wa Aishak Wa, Gabar, Wa Bayat Wa, Wa Ayash, Wa Nahalat, Nahal, Nahalat Wa. And who covets fields? Esau eat them. They seize them. Right? They defraud men of their homes. Right? even his inheritance right which is uh, what you have uh, via these uh, particular right um, conquest that the Esau Edom has done right you have uh, 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 transatlantic slave trade you got uh, all these uh, the westward expansion right when Esau Edom came and Right, brought Jake to the Americas. Right, what did he do? Yokes of iron upon him. Right, uh, took him, took, took, and uh, burned Jake in the stake. Right, these are all things that that uh, that actually happened in history. Right, you could read about these things um, via these various accounts right? these various accounts where right you have conquest of particular lands right you have uh, particular lands that were stripped away right because Jake lost his identity as a whole right and you had what? You had Esau Edom take advantage of that, right? The nations, right? Because Jake doesn't know who the hell he is, right? He doesn't know, right, who the wicked are, right? These other nations take advantage of that, right? Um, so it says, the number one covetous man is uh, Esau Edom right um, but it trickles on down into the nations which is why you have right uh, these are uh, eaves going into swirling now right because Jake doesn't have shit well now he has right because uh, a lot of these Jakes are getting good paying jobs but back then right Jake was, was out of luck, right?
because that is what Esau Edom did is split the nuclear family, right? That was uh, his main purpose, right? To cover fields, take away houses, to defraud, right? Uh, it says, like it says here, defraud men of their homes and people of their land for a heritage, right? Which is what uh, what has happened unto today, except now, right? And Jake doesn't need Eve, right? We don't we don't need uh, uh, the woman to bring back a, a nation because it's about the, the seed, the man, the, the barrel, right? And a lot of you Eves are going to be destroyed. To even you Jakes, a lot of you Jakes are going to take the uh, chip, right? And then the nukes, the nukes are gonna hit, and you're gonna be uh, SOL. You're gonna be shit out of luck, right? So it says Micah two and three. For so thus saith the Lord: Behold, I have reckoned upon the family this an evil which they will not turn back from their their necks. It says Lakan. Ka Amar Yahweh, Hanaya, Hashab Al Hamashapach, Mashapacha, Hazat, Raya, Ashar, La Thamayash Wa. The word Mayash, the root is Mawash, meaning to uh, recede, to turn back. It's another way to say turn back. Masham Ah. Taza wa ar, taza wa ar rath yakum, meaning their necks, and they will not go haughtily or proudly. Walaa the lakwa rama, because that word rawam means to uh, lift up, to exalt, right? Uh, kaya aitha raya. Haya says because currently it, evil it is, right? As in the times are evil, right? This is this is um this is something Jake is not going to be able to uh, remove their necks from, right? We know on the right hand side, right? We know guillotines are coming. We know, right? We can't move our remove our necks from that, right? We're already too in in too deep. But on the left hand side, you have what? You have uh, uh, two thirds of marveling after the uh, uh, Esau Eden's uh, inventions is uh, in the form which will be presented to you in the form of convenience, right? Which, which these things are not meant to last, right? No kingdom has reigned forever. Everything, every, like like they say in the world, every good thing has an end, right? Yeah, Esau, you know, he he he's done he's done pioneered many things via the help of Jake. You look at all these inventions, right? That's really Jake behind. That's really Jake behind all these inventions, right? Uh, so Esau's pioneered a lot of things, you nations. Right, you had, you know, you, you had a good run, but, right, the Lord is, is bringing back the prophets, right? The word is going out, right? It's no longer a secret who the nations are, who the wicked is, and who the children of the Hawa Bashim El Shai are. All these things are, everything is coming to light. Everything is coming full, uh, how do you say it? To, as it should be, right? Because it was never meant to be for Esau to reign forever. It was never meant to be for the nations to hide who they are, for us not to know who we are forever. Everything's coming at uh, full, full force. Well, not full force, but full circle. Right? You can't expect, right, the world to go round and round and round and, and the seasons not to change, and, right? rulerships not to be pulled down, right? 
so on and so forth. So this is the destruction is what Jake could not remove his neck from. Right? He's not going to be able to. Right? Micah 2 and 4, in the day that is, um, he shall lift up against you a proverb by Yawam Ha Hawa Yasha'a Al Yakam Mashal. And will and surely will will lament with a lamentation uh, to say says um let's go into the blue letter. So that word, Nawa, it's like a Naha means um, to be well, right? It's just another way to say Hawaii meaning woe, meaning destruction, which is uh, a lamentation, a way to lament, right? To be mournful. Right? That's what the Lord is saying. Right? He's saying... Right? Um... Because that root word for uh, woe... Right? Is uh, for why, meaning to fall or a fall. Right? Like, to speak a, a fall. Right. <clears throat> um lot here. Which is why it says um uh, here Dofu is Nahaya. Failing lamentation, right? Just so you get the idea. So it says, and surely will utter a lamentation which for Salakia to say, which it says Amar Wa Naha Nahaya Nahaya Amar destroyed. Surely we are destroyed because I were Shaddad. Sometimes you read it as uh, Shaddad or Shad. It just means uh, um, devastation, ruin, right? To spoil. Basically, a despoil, right? Surely, we'll say, surely we are spoiled, Shaddad Nashad Nawa. Uh, surely is, is uh, we are spoiled. Salakia. Let me go back to this. So it says, surely we are spoiled. Right, the portion of my people is changed which it says halak am ya ya mayar mawar is the root which means to remove to change it's another way to say change that word for change is actually uh, halap uh, it says uh says uh where thus ayaka has has he removed has he removed me yamayash laya 
to turn back uh, our fields which have been uh, proportioned or, uh, or assigned Lash Shawabab Shad Yanawa Yachalak right what is that talking about right what is that talking about it's talking about Jake after he went into captivity into slavery right it is what our people said right which which has said we are despoiled the portion of like you know for example I say man we're we're fucked up right now my people are, are their portion is taken away we're thus right as in uh, uh, where where thus uh, has it been taken away from me unto me right how that how do we get here right to turn back our field which has been a uh, portion right which is talking about Jake rebelling giving the land of Jerusalem the law statutes and commandments and rebelling getting worse when worse and worse and being cast out of the land right and being brought into captivity and now we're here in America Babylon the Great serving our uh, our, our sentence or right a nation beat in exile two-thirds will not return they got to be destroyed right Micah 2 and 5 surely it's a lock here let's go to the blue letter sometimes the blue letter you can uh, just go straight to the uh, concordance it says uh, surely there has not been Unto thee a casting of a cord upon the lot in the house of the Lord. Right? When it says cord, that's talking about a um, um, chabal. That word chabal means to bind. Right? Or a lot or a plot of land. Right? It says lakan la'a. Yahaya Laka Mashal Yak meaning not uh, to throw or to cast because the word Shalaka means to cast a cord habal uh, for a as in for a plot because that's what Jake did right when he was in when we when we were back in the land we would cast lots for particular purposes right or whether uh, to find the uh, next of kin the closest of kin. You read about that in the uh, um, Boaz, right? Uh, who 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 uh, was 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 uh, was was seeing if there were any other inheritors, right? Uh, concerning uh, Ruth, right? It says Ba Garal. Ba Kwahal Yahweh, right? Because the northern kingdom was cast off, and then the southern kingdom, right? Jake as a whole, right? Was, was uh, the Lord took him out that land, right? This is what Micah is talking about. It says, Micah 2 and 6, do not drop down. To prophesy, right? Which they was this word is not the actual word for prophesy. That word on top it just means to uh to 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 um to drop right it's another way to say right to prophesy right to drop distill right to meaning to leave, like for example, we leave the word, right? We we go, we show up, right? We do our 
do our camp for you know two hours or so. We drop some we drop some knowledge and then we get the hell up out of there. Alright? So it says do not do not do not pro, um, do not prophesy uh, prophecy do not prophesy unto these right they will not uh, place uh, shame right al the top wa ya tayap tayap one la ya top wa la alha la yasag kalamath right the Lord is saying this is basically talking about two thirds right the Lord is not sending us to two thirds right to beg him to come back to the Lord right we're not here for many we're here for the few the call and the and the chosen right so we're not going to beg two thirds to come back right we're telling you repent or die right it's that word nasag it means to take to remove to draw back to depart which is uh i believe the root is uh yashag it just means to uh to a to a point right or to place it's another way to say to place right kalam meaning shame because they were not going to be ashamed of their doings two-thirds right they're going to sell out turn to the left hand right go after the the beast the image of the beast conform after his image or conform after yahweh bashim yahushai hamashayak yahweh shai the image of the sun right micah 2 and 7 Salakia. Which says, He that is called the house of Jacob, um, is it cut the spirit of the Lord? Right? As in unto he that is called the house of Jacob. Ha Amar Bayath Yaikwab, Ha Quetazar um Raka Yahweh, right? Meaning is the spirit of the Lord uh shortened, is his hand shortened, that he cannot save, like it says in other scriptures. Right? Um, which says Lo, these are his doings. I'm Alha Ma Alal Yahweh. Because that word I'm sometimes means if, sometimes it means low. It's another way to say behold. Right? Low are these his doings. Are not my words good unto him? Right? Halad the barya, ya, yatayabwa. Good unto, uh, unto him. Right? I'm meaning with. He that is upright, hayashar. Um, he that is upright and, and is going, right? Chalak, for that walketh uprightly, right? So no, the spirit of the Lord is not shortened, that it, that he can save, right? Here it says, is God's patience short, right? So so two thirds they don't they don't believe in the, the Holy Spirit, the Berakodash, right? Like Elder Stohar says all the time, right? Just because you have the Bible in your hand doesn't mean you have the Holy Spirit. Because you have to, the Holy Spirit is what gives you the understanding to be able to understand the scriptures, right? So vocab alone can hold the Bible all, the, all as much as he wants. He doesn't have the Holy Spirit because it's the understanding, right? It's more than just the word, the scriptures. It's the understanding, the divine inspiration. 
that was a good point that he made, right? So the, those words, that's talking about the scriptures. It's not about just reading it, it's about understanding it, right? Micah 2 and 8, and recently unto my people, uh, there is an enemy that rises up. Wa Athamal, I'm Ya La Awayab, Yaquam Ma. Right, because that word Athamal, sometimes it means, uh, it, it just means recently, right? Or sometimes you read Athamawal. And I believe the other, there's another word to it, but it means when it's together, it means in times past. Now, I don't have my notes with me right now, right? But, right, if you look at the other lessons, right, uh, you'll, or just look it up in times past. Actually, I, I'll get that real quick. In times past. We can actually just look it up right here. The Wada Yahweh Bashim Shai. For the uh, blue letter. Anyways, I'll just do that, go over that another time. Lord willing, if I do my video, if I do another video, I'll just uh, revisit that. The spirit hits me. So it says, right, so recently, right, sometimes it's read as, as, as um, basically it's, that's what it means, recently, right? Um, an enemy has risen against my people, right? Which uh, right these uh, these are the camps right the false pastures right teaching you Christian Catholic lies right uh, and even and even Jake right uh, Book of Isaiah says the children are their oppressors right you got these little demon Jakes running around right causing havoc right so our people are, right is an enemy unto us. Right, even in the truth, those are that are even in the truth, like Elder Pastor said, you got agents in all camps, and you'll know a man by his fruits. Right, so if he's a master regurgitator, right, if he, you'll know if he, you'll know a flunky when you hear him speak, because he's not going to edify. He's not, right. You're going to hear the same. Uh, um. You're going to hear the same, right. Like your IUIC, they got precept state, right? Precept package, right? We don't want to hear the precept package. We want to be in, we, we want to enlighten the people, which is why Yahweh Shai is called what? The morning star, right? And I recently went over this definition, right? Luciferius doesn't have to do with the devil, right? Luciferius means what? To bring light or insight, illuminating. Illumination, right? But Jake is is right. Just doesn't know the 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 uh, def the origin of words, how words work, right? How particular terms work, right? So it says. Um, let's go back to the blue letter. It says, from upon the clothing, which is a cloak, ma, ma, ma'al, shal, shalama, adar, adar meaning cloak, uh, thou strippest, tha, pashat, pashat one, from he that passes by, ma'ibarium, 
securely patach right to turn back like one uh, that turns back from war shawabia malachama right so this is what Jake does right he sees Jake walking uprightly right you got particular Jakes that'll that'll rob you right you know and how does a man turn back from war like it turns back from war for example right you you got Jake that joins Esau, Esau's army he goes he goes to them uh, particular countries and you start seeing the tanks roll down and he has to retreat right that's a man being turned back like from war right you got Jake um, stripping right no what let me, let me um, run runs them pockets. Let me run them pockets, or whatever, right? That's how Jake is an, an enemy, right? Um, and you and you. This is even in the truth, right? You got these camps, right? They're pulling off that old garment, right? That that Christianity. Like IUIC, right? They'll they'll pull off, put off that old Christianity garment, and then they'll put their own garment on there, not the gar not the covering of the Lord. They'll 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 put that a new garment, but it's the IUIC garment. It's the we make our own breakdowns garment. It's the um it's that garment has a uh, right. They strip Jake of their garment, right? But their garment has rents in them, right? It has patches patched up with Christianity right so they take Jake out out these uh, churches bring them into the truth but they're not giving them the whole uh, the whole uh, the whole understanding right then Jake is worse in, the, in his latter end right because he knows he knows he's in the truth he knows he has to do better he knows he has to leave that nonsense and get with the true understanding. But like uh, like the GMS Indianapolis camp recently said, right? Apostle Ramlab recently said, Jake wants to join these other camps so he can be a part of something, so he can get a wife, so he can go to the cookouts, right? We're not here for no goddamn cookouts. We're not here to uh, to be to be uh, receive glory, to be called deacon general. Uh, and all that bullshit that Bishop Nathaniel, big shit Nathaniel, has going on, right? Micah two and nine. The women of my people are uh, are driven out from the house, right? <clears throat> it's a lot, yeah. from her pleasant things, right? That word for pleasant means ainag, meaning, meaning to be delicate or to be a, a feminine, right? This word, uh, f feminine, right? How women should be, right? And what is the woman's house? Is the man, right? You have other camps, you have, you have like IUIC, right? If you if you if your wife if you come into their camp, and your wife is a Muslim, you gotta you gotta get you gotta divorce her, you gotta leave her. When Apostle Paul said to, if she she's content to dwell with you, then let her dwell with you. You have to leave her, and you have to get with somebody that's in the truth. They have to be in IUIC, right? So they cast out the woman, right? And it says, um, from Ma'al, or Salakia, Nashia, Aimya, Thagarashan, Mabayath, Tha, Ainagya. Right? And it says, from upon her children, Ma'al, Alalya. Uh, from upon the children, thou hast taken uh, my glory. The Kwa Hadarya 
La forever. La I will love. Right? Because, right, even them them kids, right, that, is, that are in these other camps, right, they're, right, they got little uh, purple shirts on and that's all good and all that, right? They're called, right, um, little prophets and all that. Yeah, it's cute. But Jake knows better, right? Jake knows, right, that he's dead wrong, right? But it's 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 for, right? They want to go to the to the tabernacle, feast of tabernacles, go to the good right hiking and all that. They want to be secure. They want all. They want, right? Just because you're in a congregation, right? That's why a lot of Jake does it too. They want to feel secure. Jake doesn't want to go out, hug his nuts, and go out on the highways and byways unless he's surrounded by men holding post. That's, 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 right? There's nothing wrong with being in a camp, but your reason for joining, it's clear that these other dudes, these dudes just want, they scared, right? Micah chapter two and verse 10, rise and go because uh, it is not this, uh, the the rest. It's not this your rest. Kwamwa walakwa kayal azaath ha manacha. Right. Ba ibar, meaning it's another way to say on account of, right? Just like you read Lamayan or right mayan or sometimes you read bagalal meaning not it just means on account of right uh that it is defiled tama'a um thakhabal wakhabal namarataza because it says um it will bind you and destroy and will bind you right uh, to um, to press right or to oppress this is just another way to say to oppress right because that's what these are uh, these these other doctrines these other right these so-called religions do right they go off they have many traditions many right um, right the small hats they got they got their they got their doctrines the arabs right all those are are right you got to do this do that do that do that do that christianity right that's more like free but then you got other sects like uh, protestants right all these things are like they these these doctrines they they'll bind you and they'll confuse you and destroy you ultimately right that's all it is, right? And it's defiled America. That's talking about America, Babylon, the Great, right? <coughs> but you could say that means to destroy. But that word "habal" it just means um a cord to bind, right? Marataza means uh, to uh, to press or to um. Let's look at that word. Like it says here, to press. Bolden. Micah 2 and 11. Unto him if a man that goeth in the spirit and false and and false of false falsely lies right because you can walk just because you're walking in the spirit just because it doesn't mean you're walking in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right I could be walking in the spirit of uh, of Halloween I could be walking in the spirit of 
right? Uh, drunkenness, right? There's, it's just, there's many uh, scriptures say that what many spirits are entered into the world, many voices, right? Unto him, the man that walketh in the spirit and falsely lies, La Lawa Ayash Halak Raka Washakwar Kazab uh, to say it doesn't say to say it just says I will prophesy unto thee Laka unto wine La Yayan and strong drink Wala Shakar And will be why Haya Matayap, the prophet of the people, this Haim Haza, right? Which is what you have these other camps doing, prophesying strong drink, right? Going back to that Christianity, that the hell doctrine, right? You, they, right? Um. Like Jay-Z says, out the frying pan and into the fryer, right? You get out the Christianity and then you're in IUIC, learning about Christianity mixed in with the truth, right? So that's strong drink. That's wine, which is compared onto different doctrines, right? So that, you know, they, they talk about the spirit of the Lord. They talk about, right, the truth. But you're not getting the whole the whole truth nothing but the truth right so the Lord said verse 11 or verse 12 surely I will gather Jacob all of thee surely I will gather the remnant of Israel asap ah asap yaikwab kalka kwabataza ah kwabataza sh'aryath Yasha Allah together uh, Yahad I will place them Shalakia says I will place Ooh, I don't want to stop this video. I will play I will place them like the flock in Basra Ashayam Mawa Katazaan Batazara Like, uh, now that word I darred actually means uh, drove, right? It's just another way to say flock, but it means drove, right? You have the herds, bakwar, and then you have the flocks, which is taza'an. Like the drove in the mist, bathawaka, hadabarwa, of their fold. Because that word dabar, not only does it mean word, but it also means right to lead, right? It says, uh, by the mult by the uh, tumult of men, tumult of men, ta hayamna ma adam, because that word hawam means right it means um to disquiet right or right by the uh um by the great noise of men right meaning these the camps right not just Great Millstone, the other camps, because at the end of the day, they're telling you to keep the laws. They're telling you to uh, seek the word, the words of prophecy, right? That's how the remnant will be gathered, right? Me personally, my testimony is I came in through another camp, right? And I was go just right going through the motions, and then bam, something hit me, and then. 
I, all of a sudden, I, I, I started seeing Great Millstone watching their videos because I, I used to watch all the camps. Then I seen Great Millstone and I said, this is, a, I, this, I made it, I'm home, all right? The water you have about Shimia was shy for that, right? You know, as soon as I, you know, started watching the videos, I knew I was, I, I, I knew this is it, right? This is, this is, right? Elder Apostle Tahar and on down, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar and on down, right? We have our elders, Tahar, we have uh, um, Gabar, right? Uh, Elder Rakai, Apostle Ramlab, and the, the other elders as well. You know? Micah 2 and 13, he has ascended up the breaker from before them, the breaker, and uh, he shall pass through the gate. Alaha Parataza, Lapan Yaham. Pratazawa, Waya Ibarwa, Shayar. The breaker is what? The missiles, right? The, uh, the Coast Guard troops. The chariots, right? Because the chariots are going to come too, right? The laser beams, right? Two thirds are going to be running. Ah! You know? Pew, pew, pew! They're going to be cut in half, right? The Lord is not sparing Jake. He's not going to spare Jake. Let's, let's. Let's be real about this, right? Um, and he will go out upon them, bawa, and he shall pass through their king from before them, and the Lord will be upon the, upon their head, waya ibar malak malakam, lapan yaham wa yahawa, ba raash raashma. Right? Because who's gonna who's gonna pass over the skies over these two thirds, right? Before the missiles hit, you can see they're gonna see Yahweh Shai. They're gonna be like ah! They're gonna be running from the uh the, the the right the Coast Guard troops, right? Just cause right um right you sell out doesn't mean you're you're in security. Lord is gonna uh, turn that contract covenant with death back, and it's it's being turned back now, right? Because you got you got closings, you got places closing, you got inflation, you got right, you got the Mac, you got the um, the crown, crown royale, uh, crown seven. You got the you got the uh, juicy juice, right? For those that watch the videos, you know what we're talking about, right? And the Lord will be upon their head, right? Meaning the Lord is going to be on that ass, right? Two thirds, right? But anyways, that's pretty much it. Micah chapter two, right? Going into the Hebrew, it's brother Yatazadak here of Israel. And as always, Lord willing, you were edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Kwam Yasha Allah, Baal Babal, and Shalom.